Hey everybody, uh, Dr. Tim Harrigan here. Uh, I'm here to know us. Um, I've got uh, part of our team on here, Meg. She's going to help us a little bit on here as well. So we're, we're basically, we, we kind of forgot about this program for a little while. I've used this program for over 15 years with people, and I've done it personally over 30 times. It's, it's probably pound for pound one of the most impactful programs we've ever uh, discovered in our experience now with the program is pretty pretty exceptional. Uh, we've overseen hundreds of people through this program. Um, and it's it's just very powerful. Um, there's a 21 day program. There's also a 10 and 28 day program too. The 10 and 28 are slightly different, but same concept, just a little more simple, honestly. So there's just a powder um, for detoxifying, like a meal replacement type powder, all organic. Uh, vegan, gluten-free, um, instead of pills and powder. So we're going to really focus on the 21-day purification program today. Um, and we always have to start off by, you know, kind of painting the picture of what's going on with our world and our environments. So this is kind of a funny little thing to start with. A detox program. So I don't think there's an individual I've ever come across, maybe some rare exceptions, that don't want to lose weight, get more fit, lose some body fat, uh, more tone, you know, you're this way you don't sell right all the time also. That's what we all want. Um, so this program is really designed, to, here's another thing, it's weight loss for so easy, I forget the, the exact number, but it's something like 80% of adults are overweight. Like that is absurd. I'm going to show you some of that here soon. A little research about that. Um, but this is a program everybody could benefit from. It basically teaches you how to eat. It helps get rid of toxins, which I'm going to show you through research, actually. This is very evidence-based. This isn't a gimmicky, you know, grapefruit diet or something like that. The program has been tried and true, and it's, it's just phenomenal. It's a very impactful thing that you can really change a lot of physiology and toxins in a very short period of time. It's very the other magic part about 21 days is, psychology-wise, they say that you can change a habit if, if you can really be persistent with it for three or four weeks. So we use this program now to get us back on track. So if we start eating out a little too often, or we start adding too many carbs back to our diets, um, you know, my family and I are like, all right, it's time to work. So uh, you're going to hear the word purification, cleanse, detox. Those are all kind of interchangeable. Um, Really, it's kind of a cellular type cleansing program. It's not a colon cleanse. You don't have to have diarrhea for 21 days or anything like that. Um, it's a cellular cleanse. Our environments are so toxic. And I forget what the exact number is, but it takes like 30 seconds for your personal care products to enter your bloodstream. So imagine all the toxins that we're being exposed to just from our personal care products. So anybody that uh, mentions this webinar, we're not just going to offer these up if you just uh, you know, uh, start the program, but there's a, a Jamima test. Jamima is a very powerful sugar destroyer. That's actually what that uh, word means in uh, Indian culture. Jamima means sugar destroyer. It's an herb that helps with cravings, helps with blood sugar. It's very powerful. So to me, you do a little Jamima test with people, and I'll send you one, or come to our office, and you basically put one of these herbs on your tongue for about 60 seconds, and then we give you something sweet. And it's really weird. Nine out of 10 people, when we give them that something sweet, they don't want it. Um, it literally almost cuts cravings and immediately. It's very powerful. Plus, it helps balance blood sugar. If you monitor your blood sugar at home, um, we've had people tell us that it, it works really well for that. This is not a treatment of any sort. Hey, Dr. Harrigan? Yes. There's a little group chat going on here. I want to explain to everybody, in the bottom left of your screen, there's a mute button. It looks like a little microphone. And you should have a little red line through it indicating that your microphone is off. So Dr. Harrigan's voice can be heard clearer. There's some background noise. Oh, I see. And so, um, perfect. All right, I think we're going to solve the, the okay. issue going on. So thank yeah, you. I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So um, basically, the Jamima is a pretty cool thing. So if you want to try that out or you want any information on any topic that we're talking about just let us know we have tons of resources we can email you so uh we'll give you all that information if you're getting this video usually you're gonna have my email either in the section but it's dr tim harrigan 
at Yahoo. So D R T I M H A R R I G A N at Yahoo. So we have a bunch of gifts if you mention the webinar. So the gifts are uh, a recipe book that we've used for over a decade with people that we created for this program. It's all organic recipes, it's phenomenal. Um, we get a blender bottle. You guys all have probably plenty of those already, but we get a blender bottle as well as if you're in Tucson, a free body composition analysis at the beginning of the program. So we have, it's literally an $85 test uh, that we used to charge for this. We use the most accurate device in the world. So if you want a really good true baseline, uh, we will give that to you too by mentioning this webinar. So you also get, if you decide to go through this program, 21 day program, and if anything, just apply the tips for diet. You know, the body's always trying to cleanse and purify and detoxify. But if you do this actual program that we're talking about, you get daily support emails throughout the 21 days. They're very helpful with recipes, tips. Um, you get help from myself and our team, uh, Meg, Alex. Um, and so any questions, just call our office and that number should be on here somewhere too. Um, we also will give you 50% off a book called The One Degree uh, Change Book. This is a new kind of recipe, kind of a manual for the program, for the 21 day program. So just let us know if you want to um, participate in any of that. And only patients can do this program. This is a program that um, you can only get through health, certain healthcare providers. So if you're not a current patient, just email us. We can kind of talk to you about how to establish that uh, relationship and then we can kind of move forward with the program. So let's see here. All right, let me cover my butt a little bit. So if you guys, this is not- Dr. Harrigan, before yeah. you do that, they're still having a little bit of difficulty hearing you. Um, some okay. are. I don't know if there's anything going on in the background there or come closer or turn your mic up. Right Let me try that. Is that any better, you guys? Um, I'll, I'll keep monitoring okay. it for you then, too. Cool. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that might work there. So, so again, this presentation, guys, is, is for informational purposes. This is my experience, a lot of my opinion, a lot of testimonials we've come across. Um, you know, this is not meant to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any diseases. Uh, always speak with your healthcare provider before making any changes, right? Um, the unfortunate thing about that statement is a lot of our doctors don't get nutritional training. Most of the time, honestly, their nutritional training is what you and I know. It's kind of the, just what, what the media kind of brainstorms us with, right? That just bombards us with this information that we're kind of just, we kind of take on whether we want to or not from all these ads and stuff. So, so of course, check with your doctor. Again, these, uh, this is not, um, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA and all that stuff. Okay, guys, so just use common sense and let us know if you have questions. We want you to succeed on this program. So use us. Um, so we're in a healthcare crisis. Um, the U.S. spends more on healthcare than any other country in the world yet we're first in cancer. I have a new statistic that shows we have the absolute worst first day infant mortality rates in the world, you guys. This is obscene. Uh, we're first in obesity. 33% of Americans are diabetic. Autism is up from one in 10,000 to one in 88 now. Experts are predicting in the next 30 years, they're saying that almost half, especially males, individuals will be on the spectrum somewhere, somehow. That is that is insane. So what we're doing, can we all agree, what we're doing is not working very well. You know, if we kind of just follow what our neighbors are doing, we kind of go along with this thing and just yeah, kind of go along with the system and the same foods and, and everything that everybody else is doing, you're going to fall into the, to these statistics. So that's why we've created the practice that we, that we have. Um, so the top four causes of death, and I'm just going to go through these kind of quick. You guys can rewind this since there's going to be a recording and stuff. Um, number one is heart disease. Okay, so they say one, half of us on this call will be affected by heart-related issues at some point in our life. So, of course, that's important. Um, number two is cancer. We all know somebody with cancer. Uh, usually now it's close uh, loved ones that have had cancer. They also say one in two of us will get some sort of cancer in our lifetime. Not that we'll die from it necessarily, but... Those are obscene numbers where half of us will be diagnosed with some sort of cancer at some point. The third leading cause of death, which most people don't believe me, so I always have to make sure I show you the source. Um, the third leading cause of death is medical intervention. So this is at Medical News Today and a bunch of other sources. Medical intervention is the third leading cause of death in America. So sometimes some people might try to you know, tell us that we're anti-medicine and you know, uh, against medical doctors. That is absolutely not true. But understand, when you go to a practitioner, he's trained with certain things. He has certain tools in his toolbox. 
So let me give you a, a, an example I heard a long time ago. If you go to a psychiatrist, um, I've read an article way back years ago, and they said nine out of 10 people that go to a psychiatrist will walk out of there with some sort of an antipsychotic medication prescription, okay? So that's their tool. I'm not saying that this is good or bad, but just understand that we were limited on our tools sometimes, okay? So the fourth leading cause of death is medications, okay? So these are really the four big reasons why we live the way that we live. And all I'm doing is passing the information on to you about what we've learned about with, with our practice, how I take care of my family and my kids and myself. Um, all we're doing is sharing that information. So everything you're seeing here is completely congruent with what we do, what we believe in, um, our own healthcare system, and everything else. So it's kind of crazy. If anybody has kids on this call, they say that we've been telling people this for over a decade. Experts were predicting that our lifespan is going to eventually go the other direction. It's literally getting worse. So this was out of Fortune dot com magazine i don't have the date on here i'm sorry this was within the last couple months it's july, uh, july now um this this is proving that now so you can see our life expend, uh, expectancy and our healthcare spending we're spending more than ever right and we're not living as long so again just kind of let that resonate sometimes we have to unlearn some things that we just kind of think are facts or that's the truth or whatever you have to kind of think outside of the box to really wrap your mind around some of this stuff. So I went to school at Kansas State University. I was basically pre-med. I was going to be an eye doctor at one point. Um, and if you started telling me some of this stuff, you know, 20 years ago, I would have thought you were a nutcase, right? So we have to sometimes unlearn what we've learned. So th this isn't easy for some people. So don't throw stones at me. Everything I'm doing here is evidence-based, research-based. Here's a picture of the of the recipe book, the uh, the one that you can purchase that we only charge you 50% for if you mention this webinar. Um, it's great. It's got a lot of recipes, uh, tips, um, tells you how to take the supplements and things like that. So I have not personally had a medication uh, in over uh, a prescription in over 15 years. Okay, I've taken ibuprofen a few times here or there between that time, but we really have some other things that work better than ibuprofen in my opinion now. So we just we don't really use medications. My kids have never had a medication in their body. Um, kind of funny, actually, Meg, um, I don't know if you guys knew this. So my wife, actually, when we met, she was diagnosed infertile. She was told she'd never have kids. That's kind of funny because I'm looking at a picture here that kind of shows otherwise. Um, but literally, she was told she would never have kids without maybe in vitro, maybe, uh, maybe being 10% effective. So we met. We both wanted kids. And actually, we got pregnant um, the first time during this 21-day purification program. So a lot of people don't know that. When you get the body functioning better, I don't care what they call your symptoms or issues. There's a reason why it's happening. It's dysfunction in your body. So when we just use common sense principles, to eat cleaner food, uh, take care of some of the toxins in your environment, personal care, cleaning products, um, fix your deficiencies, you know, build those up. Work on uh, your nutrition and enzymes and providing more life to your body with raw foods. Uh, sleep better, exercise, right? That's why I'm in my gym right now. Um, I thought it'd be a good place for this. Um, you know, all of those things add up. And so a symptom is just a symptom. It's a fire alarm. The symptoms tell me if you're healthy or sick, though. It literally has nothing to do with it. You can have a brain tumor right now, and we don't feel that brain tumor, right? So how I feel and how I function are completely different things. But we want you to feel good. So it sounds funny, but it's just not our indicator stick. So, um, so yeah, so my wife literally got pregnant for the first time on this program. Um, a lot of people use this because they're fatigued, they're tired, they have weight loss struggles, uh, poor digestion. Um, but I mean, you name a testimonial and we probably could dig one up in that regard. So we've seen some cool stuff happen with this program. Um, this was back in 1988. You'll see all the red states are 35% or more obesity states. Um, so this, is, this was quite a few years ago, right? But I want you to just pay attention. 12 years later, this is where we were at from 1988 to, the, to 2000. This is one of the fastest growing, biggest problems we've ever seen. Every disease pretty much is, is accelerating, it's getting worse, nothing's getting better, nothing's been really cured, right? Um, so this is terrible and it's 2019 now. Where do you think we're at? Um, that was just a 12 year difference that we just showed. So it's, it's, it's crazy what's going on. Everybody needs this program. We are all toxic. Um, sorry. I'm using a new uh, PowerPoint platform here, so hang in there with me. Um, actually, I think that's it for that uh, section there as well. So I want to show you this video. So guys, it is not genes. Actually, you're going to have to email me this uh, 
email to get this video, but this basically explains uh, our genes are not the problem. Do genes play a part in how I express to my environment? Absolutely. We know that that's a fact. However, my low back pain, uh, me being overweight, uh, me having a thyroid issue, um, those are not really hereditary. We like to use that word hereditary, but there's a difference between hereditary and a genetic expression. Okay, if I'm born with a true genetic defect, we call that Down syndrome. There's a bunch of different names for a lot of different issues. So that's a true genetic defect, right? But most of us are, telling, are blaming things on genes when it's really just your expression of genes to my bad habits, right? We know that if somebody eats all dark green vegetables, it doesn't matter if I have a prostate cancer gene in my body, I am very unlikely to get prostate cancer by eating dark green vegetables all day, every day, and that's all I eat. It's almost impossible, right? It's almost impossible to get heart disease by eating that way. So just because things run in the family doesn't mean it's a death sentence. I want that to be clear to people. It's not a death sentence. It's just a tendency. But we can affect those tendencies through lifestyle. Genes are light switches. They prove this all the time now that you can flip genes on in, in a bad gene and I get breast cancer or whatever, prostate cancer. But you've also heard of people going into remission of cancer overnight, right? Somehow they turn that gene off through their environment, through the lifestyle. So your genes are just expressing due to the environment that you're putting it in. And we're putting it in such toxic environments. So a few statistics, sugar consumed by the average American in uh, 1900, that was a few years ago, um, was about five pounds per year. Now we're consuming our body weight in sugar per year, 190 pounds on average. And that was 2010. It's even worse now. All of these are worse. Oils and fats, four pounds, um, and now 74 pounds per year. Cheese, we used to eat two pounds. Now it's 30 pounds per year. These are, this is almost like a joke when you start reading through here. Fruits and vegetables, 131 pounds a year. Now we eat 11 pounds, maybe. I would say even less than that. When we talk to people, usually they're not eating fresh fruits and vegetables. They're eating canned or packaged or, or something, not the fresh version of it. So it's just kind of insane what we're doing. And so um, part of our program is a little bit of fat loss. So I don't ever want to promise um, or call it a weight loss program, a fat loss program, but this will give you perspective. It's not unusual for people to lose about six. We've had 32 pounds lost in 21 days. That was a very big individual. Uh, he was a male that had a lot to lose. So I would say on average, anywhere from five to 15 pounds in 21 days. And 90% of that usually is fat. That's why we use our body composition device um, to keep track of this stuff because we wanna make sure you're losing fat mostly, not muscle, not bone, not water. Anybody that's ever done like an HCG diet, um, I'm not gonna name these other programs. One is like WW something watchers and um, you know, uh, Jenny something diet. You know, those programs, we see people lose weight with them. The problem is it is weight, it's not fat. If somebody loses on average 30 pounds, usually what I've seen is it's only 10 pounds of fat. But in their mind, the scale says I weigh 30 pounds less, so I'm happy. But if you talk to them, they don't feel good. Their energy is low because they lost 10 pounds of muscle and 10 pounds of water and bone. So think about that. 20 of the 30 pounds they lost, they did not wanna lose. And they were probably lacking those tissues to begin with. So here's just a little uh, statistic. For every one pound that we lose, um, that removes literally four pounds of pressure off your knees per step. How many steps do we have per day, right? A lot of people are doing 10,000. Add 30 pounds to this number. How much pressure is on my knees over time? How, how, how much wear and tear is going to happen? It's an insane amount. And so uh, just every pound is a pretty, uh, pretty significant victory. So these are old ads. They used to, you know, we're all duped by the marketing industry and the, uh, the food industry, you know, sugar, this was an ad. Sugar can be the willpower you need to undereat. You know, they used to promote uh, sugar as a way to undereat and lose weight. It's just, it's insane. So I always ask people, I'm like, what are we doing today, right? Doctors used to promote smoking. What are we doing today that we're going to look back on in 50 years and just say, what in the heck were we thinking? I can name many, many different things that we're doing. Um, and some of them have already kind of shifted as saying, this is not the right idea. We were wrong. So it's just, you don't want to wait for the FDA or a doctor to tell you what to do. Um, I'm going to go to those videos here in a second. Um, so the environment and food. So why, why do we have to purify? Well, there's over 80,000 chemicals registered for use in the United States. That's insane. I've read articles that say they've only tested about two to 4,000 of those extensively. 
So we don't even know what we're being exposed to, but we do know it affects your immune system, your nervous system, your hormonal system, your reproductive system, right? Going back to my wife, um, we live in a very toxic environment. Um, they say 4.6 million people die each year, uh, you know, directly attributable to air pollution. Um, the, in 1989, the EPA estimated in one year, what is that, five trillion pounds of chemicals were either dumped into public sewage or released into the ground. So guys, you, you can't avoid these toxins anymore. It's not a matter of just cut this out and stop doing that. You can't avoid them, it's everywhere. So our tap water, there's over 140 contaminants. A lot of times there's chlorine and fluoride, which disrupt your thyroid gland, right? Um, it's kind of insane what we're doing. We went so far from natural that people are kind of seeing that. They're seeing that we're sick and we're starting to shift back. There's a neat kind of shift happening with people's mindsets. It's slow, but it's happening that we realize what we're doing is not working very well. So we have to change that. So medications are in our tap water. A lot of people don't realize that. If you're not taking antibiotics or birth control, you really are if you're eating meat or drinking tap water, which what do you think they serve you at restaurants, right? We're, we're all exposed to this. The US um, allows 14,000 chemical additives to our foods. Um, the average American consumes more than 150 pounds of food additives per year. This is crazy. So a lot of this stuff, it's just like, a lot of people don't believe it. So type two diabetes is becoming more common and there's something called type three diabetes that they're lab uh, labeling Alzheimer's. They're, they're calling Alzheimer's sugar cause. And there's a lot of other factors with heavy metals and plaquing in the brain, of course, but they say the main trigger is too much sugar over our lifetime. So they say if it keeps going over the next 50 years, how our epidemic of Alzheimer's is getting worse every year, they say it will collapse our healthcare system. And it's because of this, it's because of sugar, they're saying, type three diabetes. So uh, you, guys, you guys get the point here. I'm not gonna beat this into the ground. If some countries, this is really crazy. Some of the foods we're eating here, I would literally get arrested if I tried to, sold it to uh, sell it to you in France, for example, right? Russia suspended, uh, I shouldn't bring up Russia in this political age, but Russia suspends import of, of use of GMO corn after it showed cancer risk increase. It's, it's just crazy. So literally GMOs, we, we have them all over. They're at our grocery stores. They're illegal in some countries. I get arrested if I try to sell you uh, enriched white bread that came from GMO wheat. I get arrested. I mean, think about that. It's insane. So, and I, I want to kind of clear up something. I have a lot of people tell me, well, this is a nutritional food. This is non-nutritional. Don't sugarcoat it. There's, there's not really any such thing as non-nutritional. It's either nutritious. It's, you know, a cute raw cucumber, um, a nutrient dense whole food, or it's damaging, right? If I have one of these hamburgers from one of these, the, one of the most busy hamburger joints in the world, you guys all know who it is. I have a hamburger that's over, I think 12 years old or something, they can correct me on that, but it literally looks like the day we bought it. Okay, so that is not a non-nutritious food. That is a damaging food. Fungus won't even grow on this thing. Mold, mold will not even grow on that hamburger. It's, it's, it's insane and some people are eating that daily. Um, so it's either nutritious or damaging. Just to tell yourself the truth so we can kind of get past some of this stuff. So how do toxins enter the body? There's so many ways. Main ways are your lungs, of course, pollution, air pollution, uh, your digestive tract. This is a huge one um, because you are what you eat. So if we're just throwing garbage in our bodies to eat it all day long, your cells are going to be made out of garbage, literally. It's that simple. Um, cellular debris, physical traumas, things like that, your skin, uh, through all our personal care products, even your tap water, right? If there's chlorine in my tap water that I'm showering in, that absorbs directly into the blood within seconds uh, and internal like infections. And so uh, we can really break these apart. We're not going to do that today though. So I just want to give you guys the idea of why we do this program and why every human being needs to do it, honestly. So organs of detox, there's three things. When I get exposed to toxins, my body has three options really. It can either bury them bury them in fat cells. Your fat cells are storage sites for toxins. That's why it's challenging for people to lose weight. Unless you detoxify these toxins, your body wants to hang on to those fat cells. It's protective. You're storing the toxins in there. It doesn't want to release those toxins, right? So it's a protective mechanism and it's hard to lose body fat. And we all know people that struggle with this. So, or it deposits them in other tissues like muscles, organs, things like that, or it removes them. At this point in our in our culture, in this time and day and age, it's really hard to remove them. You are dealing with so many toxins on a daily basis. We need all the help we can get. Your body is always trying to detoxify, 
but we have to help it out because it's, it's overwhelming what's happening. We can all agree we're nutrient deficient and we're toxic on toxic overload. So we want to start shifting that around a little bit. So effects of toxicity. I mean, who doesn't, who isn't affected by this stuff? And again, when you understand 80% of us are overweight, it makes a lot of sense. So weight gain, fatigue, headaches, allergies, joint pain, hormonal dysfunction, uh, guys, any symptom you can think of, we can really attribute to the gut somehow, some way, some form. So organs of detox, you got your liver, lungs, skin, your lymphatic system. That's very important. That's like your sewage system for your body. So you want to take care of that because if you're not getting rid of the sewage, you become toxic. You know, what happens in New York if we stop taking out the trash? Mice come, you know, flies come, uh, mosquitoes come and all this stuff, and it turns into a toxic environment. But we can all agree that the flies and, you know, rats and all these other things didn't cause the problem, right? They're there because of the problem. That's what people have to get their mind past. You don't have infections because the infection necessarily. If you go swab throughout all our whole body right now, you'll probably find some MRSA, um, some tuberculosis. I mean, these things are common in our environment, but they don't stick unless you give them an environment to stick to. It's really that simple. So blood, colon, of course. Um, I can give you guys these slides. So if you have, if you want to take notes and write down what slides you want, I can, I can give these to you. But your liver has over 600 functions. Um, it's very important to keep that clean. It would be like not changing your oil in your car. Uh, things just start getting pushed back up into the engine and, and dysfunction happens, right? But your liver has over 600 functions, breaking down things and creating things. So imagine what, what can't go wrong, if you think about it, indirectly at least, if my liver's clogged up. So I don't like to call this a liver cleanse, liver program, but those are some of the things that we see improve through this. The kidneys, of course, that's our filtration system. Um, the small intestine, that's where uh, our nutrients should be absorbed, right? Most of us are so enzyme deficient and we're so, we have, we have caked, uh, putrefied stuff in our intestines. This has been studied. There's, the average male has like three pounds of putrefied junk in their intestines. Um, how are you going to absorb those good foods you should be eating? So we have to break some of that down. The large intestine, again, is more responsible for electrolytes and water absorption. So if somebody has diarrhea or constipation, right, we can tie it to the gut, which we can tie to other conditions and dysfunctional type things going on in the body. So the liver, it's, it's just very important. So let's just, let's just say this program helps me cleanse my liver out, okay? And again, we're not treating something, but when I can make my liver function better, it just works really well, and a lot of things can go away. I've seen allergies get better um, from people changing their diets. Um, you know, there's really two phases of liver detox. One kind of picture as the trash man going around through your house and gathering all the trash, which might be kind of funny, but um, they gather all the trash, they bag it up, and they put it out by the curb, okay? So consider that like phase one. Phase two is now they come by and they take all the trash and they, they you know, it's excreted or it comes out of your skin as a detox mechanism. So there's really, there's, there's actually discovery maybe three or four different phases, but um, these are the two main phases why this works well. And I'm not against colon cleanses and things like that, um, those are, but those are very topical, okay? And there's a time and place that we should all be doing that as well. Um, but those are the two liver detoxification phases. Let's get into the program a little bit. Let me step back just a little bit. I'll make sure I didn't forget something here. Um, yeah, I want to address this, you guys. I, so anybody that knows us knows we are not here to sell you something. This questionnaire can help you understand that. So our goal with people is to get a testimonial from you. I am not doing anything or explaining anything I wouldn't explain to my brother or my mom or, or a patient or myself or I would do myself. So just understand, we are not here to sell you something. What we want, though, is if you get an experience with this program, even if you just change your diet, let me know. We want to include that into our database of, so that we can help more people and show the example of the things that we can see happen if somebody takes responsibility for their health. So tell us your experience eventually. We'll get back to us. If we don't hear from you in two months from now or whatever, you know, and you're like, man, I did so good on this program. I lost 15 pounds of body fat please let us know those. Maybe email it so we can use it. We won't use your full name and stuff, but th that's what we thrive on. So um, just get us those testimonials if you get them. So this, this form here, you, I can get you a copy of this. It's kind of a pre-program questionnaire. Helps you basically understand where all these toxins are in your environment. So um, it asks you about foods, personal care products, and 
if you score like more than 30 on this, you're toxic. And I don't, not many people don't score more than 30 on this when you actually look at these questions and answer them honestly. So just one testimonial out of hundreds. This gal's name was Sandra. She was an old patient. Um, I just want to show you her score. So she filled out this form, the toxicity questionnaire. Her score, her grand total was 121 on the back. Okay, she was very toxic. She told me after she went through this program, she said, this is the, by far, the most important thing I've ever done for myself in my life. It was that impactful for her? So I'm gonna show you, this was pre-cleanse, and she wasn't sick or anything necessarily, but this is post-cleanse. She went from 121 to 37 in 21 days. You think every human being potentially should do this program. If we can change physiology, then how I feel that quickly if we do the right things. It's phenomenal. So. Uh, the testimonials, we just have so many of them. I can give you a sheet um, with more of those on there. Actually, let me go over that. So you guys get a lot of gifts um, from us for uh, attending this. You'll get some for just attending. You'll get even more if you want to go through the program. Um, myself and Meg and Alex, we're actually doing this program on August 1st. That's a Thursday coming up. So if you want to join us with it, it's just a lot of fun when you have other people going through the same thing you are. Um, it, it's just fun, and we can answer your questions. We've all done this several times. Um, so we can answer any possible question you might have. So I want to show you a few resources here. These are just some more testimonials we have from this program. Um, I can get you a copy of that if you want. We do have an email that we've created with the recipe book, other resources, weight loss based vegetables, um, and just a lot of other tips, how to wash your vegetables um, and things like that. So that we were actually uh, published in um, Natural Awakening. So this is an article we wrote, so we can get that to you as well. It just talks about how toxic we are, kind of the stuff we're talking about now. Couple studies that I want you to be aware of. So there were 28 people in this study for this exact program. All of them lost weight. All of them had lower lipid levels in their follow-up blood work 21 days after. So pretty cool how we can potentially see blood work improvement in three weeks time. And some people, man, their cholesterol is going up over the years. One day they have to get on statins or you know who knows what else they're prescribing. It's kind of insane. We're not ever addressing the cause of the problem by doing that. So this program in 21 days, we can get a better, more causative result if we want. So it's kind of cool. Toxicities. This was another study done on this 21-day purification program. Um, at the end of the study, they showed that all individuals experienced beneficial changes on the levels of various toxins in their blood, okay, and a lot of others in... Um, substantial significant uh, decreases of toxins in their blood so every individual in that study had less toxins after 21 days so again this is not just a, a program that we're do you are you seeing this Meg? by the way you are okay yes all right. You can see. all right so i want you to read this sometime too i can give you this handout does your skincare product contain these chemicals most of them do in my experience 95 percent of them are garbage um, and we're just, we're, we're duped with all the marketing guys. We're, we're all tricked by this. So I can give you that sheet that's going to help you out there. Um, there are some extra uh, adjunct supplements for the program. Just get with me and we can personalize something. If, depending on what your goals are, we can uh, make it more successful for you. So uh, diets uh, for fat loss, weight loss. So we can show you the vegetables that just have a lower glycemic, lower carbohydrate content to enhance your 21 day results. So we can give you those resources. I can give you any of the product information, detail sheets with the research attached to them. You'll see all the references in the back here. So any of the products, we can get that to you. Uh, the toxicity questionnaire that we talked about, where Sandra went from 121 to 36 in 21 days. We can have you fill that out to see if you're toxic. And also the uh, recipe book that we created. So it's all broken down into like dressings, uh, different salads and soups, foods and uh, cooked items and things like that. Um, so yeah, just let us know if you want those and let's get back to the presentation here. All right. So what can be achieved in 21 days? I mean, again, we've seen almost anything happen with people. Skin irritation and rashes sometimes go away. I've heard people tell me, um, they're not bloating anymore when they eat food or they don't have diarrhea or they don't have constipation. Understand the 21 day process can get a little funny, right? You might have some detox effects happening. You might have some symptoms coming out. Um, I've seen skin rashes pop up temporarily, but that's your body's way of detoxifying. Picture food poisoning. If you get food poisoning and I have a completely healthy physiology, I'm going to have diarrhea and probably be vomiting for a day at least, right? 
that is the exact response to detoxify to get rid of those bad germs in my body. So a lot of us are so conditioned to think that symptoms are bad when they're actually part of the healing process. So keep that in mind. The two reasons people fail on this program, they don't plan to feel like garbage potentially. And I'm not saying you will. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, over talk it and hopefully it's not as bad. Um, but you don't plan to feel like garbage. When your body's detoxifying and you're healing, some symptoms might pop up, okay? Um, you're, you're not dying, you know, you're, if you have a skin rash, it's not, you're not allergic to something. It's just how your body detoxifies. The second reason people fail on this program is they don't plan ahead. If I get hungry and I don't have my approved foods and cucumbers washed or the grocery shopping done or whatever, we're gonna run out and cheat, right? Because you're hungry, you get hangry like I do, and if you're not prepared ahead of time, you won't be able to succeed with this program. So make sure you're planning ahead for this stuff. It's only 21 days, guys. We can do anything for 21 days. Um, I talked about the uh, research um, showing lipid, lower lipid levels. Um, there's four main products on this. Um, uh, the SP Cleanse you take during the first week. It's a pill, capsule. Uh, SP Complete or SP Complete Dairy Free, you make a smoothie, minimum one a day for the 21 days. Some people like to do more like two or three per day. So our basic kit has enough for one shake a day for the program, okay? We don't wanna sell you two up front and you end up not using one and then you know people wanna bring it back or whatever. If you're not gonna use it, then you, know, you can buy more if you're gonna use a lot more of it. So we use whole food fiber that is also a powder. Usually people mix the uh, shake powder, the SP Complete, with the whole food, okay? That's the simple way to do it. And then there's SP Green Food, which is a capsule also. So it's really four main products. I don't really wanna focus on how to take these. Your manuals will have that all. You're really gonna to have to study it and rehearse it a few times so you know what to do and when to make this program successful for you. SP Cleanse though, I wanna focus on that. This is one of the main detoxifying products we use during this program. So it supports the healthy kidney and liver and gallbladder function. Um, it binds to toxins and heavy metals. It, it promotes healthy elimination and colon um, you know, extraction of, of toxins and heavy metals. So that's the one you use literally, you go through a whole bottle of this in the first seven days. Sounds like a lot, but remember it's food. You need a lot more of this stuff, uh, unlike a medication where a tiny little pill, like morphine might change my physiology within 15 minutes, of course, okay? So keep in mind, this is food. The key ingredients, again, these are all designed to help you bind to heavy metals, uh, other toxins and really cleanse the body. Okay. So you can get into some of these ingredients if you want. I don't want to read off all these little ingredients to you though. That'll be kind of boring. Um, but that's during the first week. Your body goes through a lot of cleansing during that first week because of this product here. That's usually when we see the symptoms pop up, the, the retracing of symptoms. Maybe I get diarrhea for half a day. Maybe I get constipated for a couple of days. Maybe I'm real fatigued for a couple of days. That's usually when we see that is the first week. The powder, um, there's actually two new versions of this. So the old way, which I recommend, is you do the SP Complete or the SP Complete Dairy Free. It's a powder. You basically do two scoops of this powder in a blender, and then I add a bunch of other stuff. And there's recipes for this in the recipe book. But I like to put beets, kale, spinach, maybe some mixed berries. I don't get into like adding bananas and apple. Those are very sugary, right? I want to eliminate the sugar during this 21 days to maximize my results. So I'm going to make it, it almost tastes like dirt. You know, you can add some berries to it to make it taste a little bit better. Maybe some ice, uh, blend it, add enough water so that you like the consistency of it, okay? So this is all going to be kind of you figuring out what tastes good to you. But we do have some recipes. You also add the fiber to this. So it's a tablespoon of fiber. You would put that in each smoothie also, okay? So there's shakes every day for 21 days. Here's all the different things that that helps with. Again, you guys can go back and read some of that. Um, the key ingredients are either whey protein or weiss protein, uh, barley grass, uh, buckwheat, alfalfa. These are all just really heavy duty cleansing, nourishing, fiber rich uh, foods. Again, it is gluten free. I know some of you are looking at some of this like, oh my gosh, there's gluten in here. The whole program is gluten free. Um, the whole program is vegan if you want it to be. You can also add um, uh, organic or um, cold water, um, wild raised salmon or organic chicken on the last 11 days. We'll get into that here in a minute though, um, but mostly plant-based. So you can get into the, all the ingredients from these products. They're designed specifically for each phase of detox though. The SP Green Food is the second capsule you'll start on day eight. So day eight through 21, you change your pills, okay? 
the green food is more to alkalize your body, to do the repairing now after we just detoxified for a week. Um, this is going to flood your body with phytonutrients and bioflavonoids and all this other stuff that's really good for you, okay? So this is kind of the repair phase, days 8 through, eight through 21, I'm sorry. Um, again, you can get into the specific ingredients. They're designed to repair, uh, repair and heal. Um, then the whole food fiber. So this is the one that you would add to the smoothie powder, the SP complete. Um, you're getting a lot of fiber from your fruits and vegetables. Most people start to be, become more regula uh, regular, less toxic, right? Imagine this, if you're not eliminating every time you eat a meal, there's something wrong actually. Even if you're going once a day, that is not normal. Picture a baby. How often does a baby go to the bathroom? You know, three, four, five times a day maybe, and that's how often they eat usually too. So if you're going once a week, once every three days, or even once a day, there's a problem. And if you're not eliminating, you're storing more toxins. Those are getting putrefied, rancid. They're getting reabsorbed back into your bloodstream, okay? So these are all very, very important products here that address um, everything during the 21 days. So the eating part. So I talked about the capsules. You do one for the first seven days. Then you switch over to the SP Green Food for the last um, two weeks, basically. And the eating program is a little different than that. So keep in mind how you take the pills uh, versus how you eat are slightly different timelines, okay? So we want you, first of all, to eat at least three to four, ideally, times the amount of vegetables compared to fruits. Fruits are delicious, nature's candy, all that stuff, but they do have sugar. Don't try to give me the argument that it's natural sugar. Of course, that's better than something synthetic or whatever. However, it's sugar. Your insulin goes through the roof when you have too much sugar, okay? So uh, just make it minimal if you can. Use it as a treat or a dessert, not as part of your each meal, okay? So two-thirds vegetables, one-third fruit. That'd be the, the least I would do. Um, lightly steamed for less than three minutes um, or stir-fried for like less than five minutes. Usually that will retain a lot of the raw properties in the food. So if you just have to have something a little more al dente, a little more cooked, it's fine if you steam or stir-fry something for usually three minutes or less, but five is usually fine too. It'll still maintain a lot of those properties. Raw, I do like people to try at least 50% raw. So get your bag of vegetables. Your smoothies will be raw, right? It's, very, it's fairly simple to do 50%. 80% um, raw would be even better. So one way that I like to do that is we usually just kind of cook dinner. Um, so everything throughout the day is raw. The smoothies, uh, the bags of vegetables I'm going to eat. And then we'll cook dinner so it feels like you're having like a warm cooked meal, right? So that you're not feeling deprived during the 21 days. And this isn't a starvation diet. Do not starve yourself. The more you eat, the more fat loss you will have as long as it's the approved food. So do not think this is a starvation diet. You will not lose body fat if you're creating a starvation diet out of this. You're going to lose weight, but remember, it's not going to be the good weight. You've got to nourish the heck out of the body for it to maintain the muscle and bone. Okay, so kind of a recap, days one through 10, all vegetables, 50% raw, or I'm sorry, mostly vegetables, a little bit of fruit in there. Um, you can have some lentils, a little bit of quinoa. I try to get people to do only half a cup of those, maybe no more than twice a day. You can have raw seeds, raw seeds only, do not add raw nuts, okay? Seeds are fine. So if you're doing flax seed in your smoothies and stuff like that, that is totally fine. No nuts, okay? So I don't want you to focus on what you can't have on this program. That'll drive you crazy. Focus on what you can have. Focus on what you enjoy eating and what you can have. And you, you just, you're going to eliminate a lot of toxins, of course, and most of us eat these daily. So spring water is ideal. The, the, the only uh, company, honestly, unless you have a really good home system, which there's not very many good ones out there, honestly, so email us if you want information on that. Uh, but one of the only bottled waters that does not have fluoride or other chemicals added to it is Crystal Geyser. Arrowhead, a lot of those other ones, um, look them up. Uh, a lot of those are adding fluoride and other chemicals to do those, which aren't good for you. So make sure you're using high quality oils. I only like people to use two on this program. Extra virgin cold pressed coconut oil, organic of course. Extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, um, organic of course. So don't cook with the olive oil. When you cook with olive oil, it's really frustrating because all the cooking shows cook with olive oil. Olive oil is not a super stable oil when heated. So you turn a lot of it into a trans fat when you heat it up, unfortunately. Coconut oil, on the other hand, you can cook with it and it still maintains a lot of its good omega-3 properties, right? The good fat properties, even while it's heated. So use coconut oil to cook with. You can use limited amounts of grass butter, unsalted, 
Um, let's go to salt maybe. Uh, the only salt we want you to use is Celtic brand, C-E-L-T-I-C, -E Celtic sea salt. It's unrefined, uh, the most doctor recommended salt out there. It's got 84 minerals in it, not just sodium like most sea salts out there that are pure white, okay? Exercise, you can. I, word of caution, I tried to work out the very first time I did this as hard as I usually would work out and I got sick. So you really wanna back off 25 to 50% at first and just kind of get a feel for what your body's doing. So we do recommend working out. If you can get you know, a hold of a sauna every day for that 21 days, sweat out those toxins even more, Epsom salt baths, there's a lot of other ways you can kind of complement uh, the detoxification of chemicals and toxins. So the only difference between days 11 through 21 is you get to add, if you want, this is just an option, either a cold uh, water, fresh, um, wild caught, um, really fish, but salmon is really one of the only safe ones now if it's cold water um, and, and fresh caught, wild caught, but also organic chicken. Um, those would be okay, but you really want to limit, um, kind of limit that dose to about the size of the palm of your hand. Maybe just two servings of those per day when you add those, okay? We want to really lay off the liver and kidneys for a little bit. And animal products, unfortunately, uh, creates stress on those. So the more veggies, the better, but you do have the option on the last half of this program to add those healthy protein sources. Um, so just to recap, I do have a sheet about the Dirty Dozen. If you can't afford organic throughout the whole program, at least get what's called the Dirty Dozen in organic varieties, okay? Email me, I can send you the tip sheet again with the Dirty Dozen, the Clean 15, the How to Wash Your Vegetables. Um, that's part of the email that we can provide you. Organic when possible, of course. Um, Dirty dozen minimum, 50% uh, raw at least. If you can do 80, that's slightly better. I like to do a Thursday start date. So remember, it's three weeks long. I like Thursday because usually the first day, maybe the second day, I don't feel real tired. Um, I don't feel like I'm detoxing really hard yet. Everybody's slightly different, but usually for most people, it's day two, three, four, five, somewhere in there. You just get a little more tired. Um, you know, maybe you need a nap on the weekend or whatever. So that's why I like to start it on a Thursday. That way I have the weekend maybe if I'm detoxifying really hard to take an extra nap to make sure I'm drinking enough water and those types of things. Okay. So that's just a, a preference. You can do it any day of the week though. Be consistent. It's only 21 days. Just do it right. Do it right. You will get an experience. You will get some results. Um, if you do it right, but even if you chew gum, right, there's, there's artificial sweeteners and other things in those you start the digestive process, you're stressing that system. You're using up enzymes by just chewing on gum and not digesting the food. So even the little things, sucking on a cough drop, um, you know, uh, drinking the coffee, if you can get away from those things, that's ideal. But again, replace it with something else. Do as much organic green tea as you want. Um, work out as much as you want, but keep it to a non-aggressive workout, right? Uh, more of going through the motions and maybe getting in that sauna that we mentioned. Drink a ton of water so you can flush out those toxins. Uh, and again, no gum, you guys, no candies and stuff like that because it's every little thing, snacks, um, everything that you know accumulates, even your water, depending on what your water source is or how you're making your tea. So just be really clean, as good as you can for 21 days, um, and you will see results. We've never really not seen that happen before. So a little recap, all of this is in the manuals that we'll provide you. Um, so I'm not gonna beat those down. Um, there's other supportive products. If somebody is working out really hard, we can add some extra clean whey protein that we have. But it's literally just whey protein. There's not all these other things added to it, like the ones that are usually retail bought. Um, some good fats, some enzymes. A lot of the products you have gotten from us, if you're a patient already, are completely approved because they're whole food based plant-based, um, real supplements, food supplements, not all these synthetics, which is 95% of the industry. Um, so usually if we recommended it to you, it's fine, uh, but you can double check if you want. The Gymnema is an awesome uh, adjunct product because it helps with your cravings. If I crave whatever, muffins or bagels or pasta, it helps with sugar cravings and it helps regulate your blood sugar. The reason we get cravings many times is your blood sugar goes up and down because of how we eat. So if I can get your blood sugar a little more regular, you're going to have less of these urges, okay? Uh, less of the uh, kind of addiction to the sugar. Um, gut health, we have enzymes and other stuff we can help you with. Um, our whole fluid um, uh, CBD, uh, which is the only one on the, on the, in the world. There's nothing added to it, nothing taken away. It's pure plants. Um, that can help you get some better sleep during this program. Um, we have another like B vitamin complex. Um, don't go out and buy a B vitamin. Most products are not what they say it is. I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. 
but we have a really powerful kind of energy product that helps get you through some of those fatigue days. So just anything, any extra supportive stuff you need help with, this is what we do. So we can help you out. So leaky gut and healthy gut. This is basically a healthy gut. You can see the cells are very close together and I can email these uh, videos to you if you want. They're just not working in this program here. Uh, leaky gut, most of us have because of our processed foods, because of stress and all these other factors. So you literally turn a healthy intestinal lining into what's called leaky gut or intestinal permeability is the more proper term. So if you go to pubmed.gov and type in uh, intestinal permeability, I think there's over 14,000 studies on leaky gut, you guys. This is a big problem. They're tying most autoimmune conditions to this. They're tying just most symptoms and diseases and things to what this leaky gut is. And that's the old saying, you are what you eat or everything starts in the gut, disease starts in the gut. That's where all these come from. And it's because of this leaky gut phenomenon. It's pretty crazy. So again, Hippocrates said that all disease begins in the gut. And you can tie almost every disease, every condition to the gut somewhere, somehow. That's your body's number one priority to get those nutrients to other tissues. So what to expect? I mean, again, we've heard everything. I mean, name a symptom and we probably could dig up a testimonial in regards to that from somebody. These are, you know, non-solicited. You know, we want people like, hey, would you mind writing that down if they tell us about it? But you know, this is just real results, you guys. So most people experience more energy, less foggy brain, some fat loss. I hate the term weight loss because we don't want to lose weight. We want to lose fat, uh, better digestion, decreased bloating, clearer skin, shinier hair. This is all the stuff we want, right? This is like our New Year's resolutions list right here. Um, so usually I like to do this once a quarter because um, it gets us on track. And I've kind of gotten out of the habit of the last couple of years, but I've done this over 30 times. So at least once a year, everything else in your life, if you have personal, your perfect personal care products, perfect cleaning products, um, you're still breathing this garbage air, you're still getting exposed to things. The receipts you handle from grocery stores have BPA in them, which is a hormone disruptor. It's a very toxic chemical that they've removed from, uh, from toys, right? Plastics, but they're still in our receipts. They still line cans. If you buy canned goods, you can't, you can't get rid of this. So you, you need to do something to help this battle. So the reason we see such quick results usually is because if you nourish the heck out of your body and give it what it needs and more than it needs sometimes in the right forms, your stomach can be brand new in five days time. Your small intestine has been replaced in about 12 days time. Your skin in about one month, right? You can affect these things over time. You guys have known somebody that took on all these really healthy habits and you didn't see them for a year and then you ran into them somewhere and they look totally different. You guys, it's never too late. I don't care what age you are. I don't care what situation you're in. We all need more nutrients. It's really that simple. But this is why we get such a weird variety of testimonials um, because again, everything's tight to the gut and that replaces itself very quickly. So, so it's kind of weird because some people don't really understand what I'm trying to say here. My stomach, my physical stomach that's in my body right now literally was not there six days ago. Every cell has died off and been replaced with a brand new cell with those building blocks from my diet in six days. It's crazy when you think about it, right? We all know red blood cells, right? We all know that red blood cells last about 120 days. That's the cell as well, but it takes a little longer to regenerate those. If you just change one meal, um, you can literally change your hormones with one meal. If you change your meals for a week, your food for a week, um, it's going to change how you feel. That's why, again, we see results so quickly. Usually if we can take on... Um, I don't, I don't want to say, you know, a strict uh, type diet, but if you change things in such a positive manner and take on these really good habits and you're consistent and persistent, we see some cool stuff happen. So one month, it can change how you look. We've all met those people too. And in one year, it's literally going to change how long we live. So that's why I like to do this at least twice a year. Once a quarter is ideal though. It just gets us back on track because we're always battling against this. So what can you eat? We went over that. Mostly fruits and vegetables. You get to add the animal products uh, towards the last half, only if you want. A few just kind of easy things to remember. Eat more foods that are alive than dead because it will literally create more life in your body. These live fruits and vegetables have enzymes. Your enzyme bank account is proportional to your lifespan. Think about it. The less enzymes I get or the more I'm depleting my enzymes with cooked processed foods, I'm not around as long. It's that simple. Enzymes run your whole body. So we want to provide food enzymes to that body through fresh raw stuff. So I know it gets a little more expensive. Of course it does. You know, 
Um, you know, organic is a little bit more, but just shop around, get good at it. It's just like any other habit. If you go to Costco for some things and then national grocers for other things, it's just a new habit. Once it's in there, you know, it, it's simple, just like everything else. Every color, every day. That's a saying we have with fruits and vegetables because they all have different nutrients based on that color. So resveratrol, we all know about that and like red wines and stuff. So every color, every day helps you get a good spectrum of all the nutrients you would ever need. If I had to pick one color though, greens are definitely the most important. So um, that's why we do tons of kale, tons of spinach, tons of broccoli, asparagus, all those, those super nutrient rich, you know, can, kind of cancer fighting type foods. Okay. So you're fat, but you're good fat. Okay. So this is kind of a funny cartoon I stole from a friend. You can have a lot of fat, you guys get the eighties trend of low fat out of your head. If you're low fat or no fat, you will die sooner. It's really that simple. Your brain is fat. Your skin is fat. Your cells are made of lipid bilayers. The word lipid means fat. If you're not getting good fats, you're not regenerating good healthy cells. So some of those things are, do not do all of avocado oil. I'm not a big fan of that. Again, the two fats I would really stick with are the extra virgin, cold pressed, organic coconut oil, and the same in olive oil. Organic, um, cold pressed, uh, extra virgin is the key word there too. Not virgin, but extra virgin because that's the most clean press of the plants, okay? The second press is virgin olive oil. The next one, they just call it olive oil. So there is a difference based on what they call it. Um, so avocados, you know, the seeds are gonna have good ones. Um, the fish, if you're doing that, uh, organic unsalted butter in minimal amounts is okay. So I don't like to cook with butter. I'll put it on like a sweet potato though, maybe let it melt on there, right? We don't wanna over process things. And, Fats are one of those things we don't want to overprocess. So drink at least, we're in Arizona, a lot of us, so drink at least half your body weight in water each day. Um, so if you're 150 pounds, minimum 75 ounces. And I like to add 10 to 20% of that, honestly. So 85 ounces might be good. Um, you can add lemon. That's also a very good detoxifier. As much organic green tea. Anybody that knows me know that's pretty much all I drink. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily stick with decaffeinated here. The antioxidant effects of green tea, if you want, go to mercola.com and type in green tea, you'll see all kinds of research. It's good for your brain. It prevents Alzheimer's, helps with foggy brain, helps with energy. The antioxidants are very powerful. So the antioxidants overpower any stimulant type effect from the small amount of caffeine in there. So, you know, different cultures that drink only this also, they don't have adrenal fatigue and all these other things we have because of the coffee, the more heavy duty stimulators. Not against coffee necessarily, you know, I love bulletproof coffee, adding good fats to it, stuff like that, but uh, just green tea on this program if you can, okay? Um, or water, of course. So avoid, I don't like to focus on this because you already know what you can have and this starts getting people irritated because they can't have all the stuff that we're addicted to, right? Carbohydrates, the sweets, the candies, the gums, processed food, cooked food, fast food, uh, grains, no nuts, no hydrogenated oils, no alcohol, unfortunately, guys. Some of you are going to be like, oh, I can't have wine just for 21 days, okay? No caffeine, so no, no vibrant, no coffee, no black tea, uh, no soda, of course. I mean, some of these are common sense, right? No tobacco if you can. This, guys, if you can do something for three weeks, you are more likely to continue that as a habit after that, okay? So be strict. I'm not saying it's easy. But it is easy once you take on that habit. You just have to create it. Just like all your other bad habits, all my other bad habits, they were created. You can create new ones. It's not simple, but it's very rewarding if you can do that. So no, uh, no beans. Um, this says seeds, but you can have the raw seeds, uh, but no beans or nuts. Um, lentils, again, you can have about half a cup, no more than twice a day of lentils or quinoa. Those are just more bulky foods, so to speak. But you know, if you're hungry, eat four cucumbers, literally just eat four cucumbers with uh, some approved hummus. You can't have hummus if it's made with uh, olive oil, right? Not, not approved ingredients though, right? If it has salt in it, just salt, not sea salt. If it has another type of oil, canola or something else, it's not approved. Make sure the ingredients of anything like that are approved, but really you just want to stick with the fresh raw stuff mostly. Um, other symptoms you might have going through the program, anything, guys, anything. It's a, it's a retracing phenomenon. Your body's detoxifying. These are not bad symptoms. This isn't because of the toxins. It's because you're removing the toxins. So headaches, digestion issues, low energy, you know, we talked about most of those. And again, we do have other adjunct products that can help uh, make those better for you. So any special needs you guys have, again, just let me know and we can customize whatever we need to for you. Um, but as a shotgun approach, 19 out of 20 people that just do the program, 
do phenomenal with it. So what to expect after? Again, we name a testimonial and we probably have one. So increased uh, just energy, again, the foggy brain stuff, less fat, um, uh, less constipation, usually less diarrhea, less cravings, um, better sleep. These are all things that we've heard from this program. Um, so again, let us know if you have questions. We do have a bunch of those gifts. Uh, let me recap that in a second. Uh, medications, I always get this question too. First of all, medications poison the enzymes in our body. And if you understand enzymes, they run your whole body. So I'm not necessarily a pro-medication guy. There are times and places for medications, absolutely, no doubt about it. Hands down, you need them in certain situations. However, we are over-medicated as a population and we don't live as long as most other countries that are less medicated. It's really simple. Um, so just understand they will block some of the benefit, of course. Talk to your doctor before you change anything with that, of course. Um, we also, let's see here, a good book so that you understand enzymes and raw foods and why they're so beneficial for lifelong ingestion of these things is Enzyme Nutrition by Dr. Howell. He has two other versions, two or three, they're all fine. Um, don't just take products without maybe asking us if you wanna succeed at this. Here's a Consumer Reports article, four to five herbal products they're testing out of New York, retail or online, don't even have in the bottle what they say is on the label, you guys. So just ask us. We're very familiar with this industry. It's very corrupt. Um, we've all been duped. A lot of the ingredients are not proper. So even if the one out of five does have the actual ingredients that they say is on the label, understand that most ingredients are not, shouldn't be in your body anyway, right? So most of what's out there just is not good. And that's why you'll see all this negative stuff on supplements. I agree with most of it. 95% of what you do buy is garbage. We're wasting our money on this stuff. So we only use specific companies in specific situations. So here's an example. If you get your vitamin bottle out and it says anything other than like 200% or more of your percent of daily value right here, you can see this one. This is a biotin product. I'm not going to call out any companies, but most, most of them do this. This has 33,000% of your recommended daily value. This is insane. This is not what your body understands, but they do these high doses of isolates to hopefully have some of your body latch onto some of it, but your body doesn't even understand it. You know, when you eat an orange, for example, I think we have that slide in here, actually. You're, you're, when you eat an apple, you have, you're getting hundreds of things that are good for you, but they're not good for you isolated. They're good for you all together, synergistically working together. This is how we want our nutrients and our supplements if you're taking them. Um, let me give you an, one example, an isolate. So we have 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C isolates. Okay, this is a study that showed the five milligrams in that apple. So there's only about five milligrams of vitamin C in this apple. That five milligrams works better than 1,500 milligrams of isolated vitamin C. It's insane. So most people, when I meet them, they're on like 10 to 12 products. It's like a high dose of magnesium, high dose of calcium, high dose of vitamin D. Understand your body needs tens of thousands of different things. So I rarely will want them to continue on those high doses of things because I know it's creating other issues to try to process all those isolated huge amounts of vitamins and minerals that are, it, your body just doesn't understand them. So again, you know, this program is less than $200. Um, we give you back almost that if you're doing the uh, body composition test and other stuff. Again, we want a testimonial from you. So when you get a great result, let us know. We'd like to document it um, and not use your full name, of course, for privacy reasons and stuff. But health, I mean, I think May can probably agree with this. Like my family, we spend more on our wellness practices, so to speak, our supplements and everything else than anybody I've ever met because it's a priority to us. It's not cheap. I don't like spending all that money on it, but it's a priority. My kids have never taken medications. I haven't had a prescription in 15 years. We have four kids because of getting rid of chemicals and cleaning the liver out and changing a PCOS type situation and endometriosis situation. So this is how we live our lives and it's not necessarily cheap, but the outcome, the reward is, is priceless, right? You know, those commercials, like it's true. Like if we can give somebody their energy back so they can hang out with their kids again or whatever it is, the stories we hear, you understand why we're pushing hard to kind of promote some of this stuff because it changes lives. It's pretty cool. So doctors don't make you healthy. Your wife doesn't make you healthy, right? It's up to us. Teachers don't make us learn. Trainers don't make us fit. Coaches don't make you rich. At some point, we have to take responsibility, but understand that you are not doing this alone. You have a team of people that have the results, that have the experience, that have the motivation to help you. So utilize that. This is not up to anybody. So Again, our New Year's resolutions are, are garbage usually, right? We look at them once a year and then we get back into our old habits. So help us hold you accountable and get you the results you want. So some people, 
a little disclaimer here. Some people start looking at some of these product ingredients. It drives me crazy. You know, sometimes we're too smart, right? I've had doctors not take some of these organic products because they saw the word copper chelate in one of the formulas we use. It's insane to me because, first of all, when you eat raw, fresh broccoli and these other things, you're getting these other minerals and metals and stuff from the soil. It's naturally occurring. We don't want them in huge amounts like mercury and fish and stuff, but they're naturally occurring. But when people start reading labels now, they don't understand that they're getting that anyway. And the whole, the key, the key word there is chelated. My body absorbs what it needs and it doesn't absorb what it doesn't need like a synthetic vitamin, okay? So it's funny to me, don't start reading these labels and come back to me, oh, I can't take this because it has this in it or whatever. It's organic food-based stuff, you guys. It's as safe as safe can be. It's like you just change your, modifying your diet, but it's gonna be more impactful in a shorter period of time. So it's funny to me that people won't question the ibuprofen or the Tylenol or the Zoloft or whatever it is, but then they start questioning these organic products. So I just, just a little disclaimer there, just a little pet peeve of mine. Guys, uh, you know, of course, talk to your doctor before changing your program, like we keep saying, but there's a death every 24 minutes because of drugs, you guys. You know, how many people die from organic foods? Like, it's just insane when we kind of put it in perspective like that. It's just kind of silly what we're, what we're doing. So anyway, that was the Purify for Life program explanation. Of course, we're here for any questions, any thoughts, any help you might need. Let me recap the gifts for you guys, too. Um, so if you do this program and you mention the webinar, again, we're not just going to give these to you for no reason. Um, we'll let you try the gymnema out. You can suck on it and kind of see how it tastes and see if it takes your cravings away right away. It's very powerful. Um, we have a recipe book that I showed you. We'll give you the whole recipe book with all the recipes for the program. We're going to give you a blender bottle. If you're in Tucson, I'll do one body composition test on you at no charge. And we used to charge $85 just for that test. That's like half the program cost almost. So the daily support emails throughout every day of the 21 days or the 10 or 28 day, which I'll go over in a second, um, support from us um, and 50% off the other book. It's kind of a nice little recipe book with a bunch of other tips and stuff in it. So it's a really helpful book as well for this program. So again, only patients can do this program. So if you're not a patient watching this, just call us. Let's see if we can, uh, if we can make that happen for you. Um, it's, it's fairly simple, that process. So, um, so I mentioned there's a 10 and 28 day program too. So picture this, we just went over the four products for the 21 day program. The company decided to make this simple for some people. Now I do like the old way, it is more impactful. The new way is either 10 days or 28 days though, and it's just a powder, it's just a smoothie mix. So what they did, I'm just using random numbers, let's say there were 28 ingredients in the other four products. They took about 24 or five of those ingredients and put them into this powder. So I don't have to keep track of when to take pills, you know, mixing the smoothies up. It's a chai flavor. So if you don't like that, this isn't a good one for you then. Um, but it's chai flavor. And all you have to do is mix it in the blender bottle, shake it and drink it. And there's a way to take those. If you're doing the 28 day program, this is all in the manual, but you take one of those smoothies a day for the th first three days. Then you do two of those a day for the next four days. Then you're doing three smoothies a day for the middle two weeks. And then you ramp back down while eating all the approved foods and stuff that we mentioned in there. So it's just a little different way and it's a 10 or 28 day program. But the 21 day does work in my experience better than those ones, but it, the new ones are more simple for people. So if it's a busy thing, I don't have time, I would maybe consider those programs. So let's see here. I think that's it, Meg. Would you, do you have any Anything that I missed or anything that you want to add to that for people, tips or anything? No, I think you did great. And I'm proud of everybody taking time today to come and listen to it. And I really hope you join the plan with us. The results are different for everyone, and uh, but we're here. We'll support you. We're always available for questions. And I really do hope you join us on it. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So we try to, uh, we've gotten out of the habit, but we try to do this as an office at least once a year. So we just kind of forgot about this program, honestly. It's, it's one of our most impactful programs that we do so much in our practice that it's been kind of pushed to the side for some reason. But I want to finish off here with a video about carbohydrates because most people don't even understand where they're getting these things. So uh, just a quick video and then we'll let you guys uh, head off to your families for the day. What I'm going to show kind of an old video, but you'll get the point. <laughs> Let's start with a typical breakfast. May, can you cereal. see that? Toast. Yes, it's partial screen, but yes, it's fine. Okay. Orange juice. 
and a banana. The cereal has about one quarter cup of sugar. Toast has about one quarter cup of sugar. Orange juice has about one quarter cup of sugar. Banana has about one eighth cup of sugar, and that's just breakfast. Let's say around 10 a.m. you get hungry, so you have a snack. Let's say you have a fruit on the bottom yogurt. This fruit on the bottom, low fat yogurt, has a whopping one quarter cup of sugar. And for lunch, let's say you're watching your weight, so you have a skinned chicken breast, baked potato, and some bread. There is no sugar in the chicken, but the potato has a heaping one quarter cup of sugar in it. And the bread also has a quarter cup of sugar in it. So now three o'clock rolls around and you're feeling a bit tired. So you have a few pieces of candy and a soda pop. The candy is about a quarter of a cup of, you got it right, sugar. And the soda is about a quarter of a cup of sugar as well. Now for dinner, you're a good low fat dieter and you're really trying to do the right thing. So all you eat is pasta, pasta, bread, and a soda. And the pasta again is about a quarter of a cup of sugar. The bread, another quarter of a cup. And the soda, about a quarter of a cup of sugar. Now, are you getting the picture? Look at all this sugar in the food you're eating. Incredible, isn't it? Keep in mind now that these spikes of sugar demand a spike in insulin to push all this sugar out of your bloodstream. Now that's just one day's worth. Multiply that by 365 days and then by how old you are and you should be getting the picture of why most of us have had such a hard time losing weight and why many of us suffer from such a variety of health ailments. Awesome, guys. So uh, let's Mike finish off here. Again, my email, if you guys have any questions, is Dr. Tim Harrigan at Yahoo. So D-R-T-I-M, Harrigan is H-A-R-R-I-G-A-N at Yahoo.com. Let us know if you have any questions. Guys, have an awesome day. Thank you. Thanks, Meg.